How's it going everyone? Music Lover back with another episode and today we're going to do my manga collection and I've got it focused on my little buddy Boo here. He's so so cute and I'd also like to apologize if it gets really really shaky or if it looks really funny because I'm using my phone. I don't have a proper camera. All I have is my webcam so this will have to do and the audio might be a little jank too but this is all I can do. Like I said let's go ahead and get into it. I've got My Hair Academia it's a Japanese volume, my only Japanese volume. I think it's Slam, yeah, or Smash, yeah. I haven't been able to read it because I'm still learning Japanese, but other than that, I really, really enjoy looking at it. Uh-oh, I'm about to damage it. One second. Technical difficulties. All right, and we got volume one of Magi. I haven't read this yet. And then volume one of Yu-Gi-Oh! And look at this. This is how old this is. This was my first ever manga. It's even got a crease in the middle of the cover. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, like you can see just maybe a tad. But yeah, it's really, really old. It's before I knew how to take care of manga. I've had that since I was a very little kid. Um, anyway, I've got volumes one and two of Seven Deadly Sins. I haven't read these yet. I'm really wanting to read them, so they're on my to read list. Blood Lad 1 and 2. I haven't read very much of these. I've read a small bit of 1. Um, so far it's okay. It's not my favorite. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to buy more of these. I just haven't focused on it. Next, you can probably hear my floor. Sorry about that. Um, next, I have Servamp 1 through 6. I really, really like these. I especially like the covers. These little chippy versions of their characters are so, so cute. I enjoy it. It's not my favorite season or favorite series, other, uh, my bad, favorite series in the world, but I do enjoy it. Like, I like the artwork. Kuro is the best, and I'm still reading on these. I think I'm on five, but I'm going to continue to collect it. That's my floor again. God's Lie. I finished this. It's very, very, very good. It's got this twist in the middle that just blows you away. The art is fun, and it's just a good one shot. I really, really enjoy it, and I also like the cover. It's uh, really pretty, really artsy, full of like a watercolor vibe. Next, I've got the light novel of Your Name. I haven't uh, finished this yet. Um, I just started it and kind of put it down and got distracted by other things, but I will get on that. And then we have Planets 1 and 2. These are new. I recently got these this week. Um, I'm still reading on these, as you can see from the little bookmark. Very, very good. I love this author. I'm loving these, from from what are read, I'm really loving this. Um, I just haven't got that far. I haven't had a lot of time. Next, we have Fruits Basket 1 through 12. I really, really love this series. This was the series that I was like, all right, I'm collecting manga. I love it. I adore it. I want everything to do with it. It's so great. Um, I read all of these. Like, I, I finished reading this before the 12 even came out, and then I finished 12. Um, I read all these very, very fast, kind of distracted me from my schoolwork just because I love this story so, so much. And if you have not read this, definitely read it, pick it up, pick up these editions because they're just, they're beautiful, they're very, like, well-built, and I love them. You can relax, read it, and not have to worry about damaging your books. Next we have All You Need Is Kill. I really like this, it's just a nice one-shot. And then after, we have Fairy Tale 1 and 2, the Master's Edition. I'm slowly collecting these, but these are really, really, really pricey. So it's going to take a while before I get them all. And I'm a huge fan of Fairy Tale. I've just had, like, complaints about it in the recent chapters. And the ending I didn't much care for. But, um, yeah, I still love it. It's got a special place in my heart, so I'm still going to collect it. On shelf 2... I got orange, one and two, and they are backwards as F. Okay, this is going to bug me. Okay, much better. Okay, one and two, not backwards as F. Okay, this story, if you have not read it, gorgeous, make you cry. I love it so much. The artwork is gorgeous. The characters are so lovable. I know, I just, I want to read it again. I'm actually on my second read through because I... I love it. Like I said, it's just, I can't get enough of it. And then next, we have one of my all-time favorite series. We have one through nine of My Hero Academia. I have read all of these. They are very, very good. Love it. It's probably my favorite shonen manga at the moment. Um, I really love the characters, Todoroki and Deku, as I've said in previous videos. 
but this last volume blew my mind. I can't wait until November until we get the next one, but it's something I'm going to keep collecting, keep reading, and I absolutely love it. Next after that, we have Platinum End or Platinum End. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it is from the creators of Death Note. Um, I'm really enjoying it. I feel like it's going to be like pretty short. It feels like it's not going to be a super long manga. It also gets this uh, future diary vibe that I'm actually enjoying. And yeah, I, so far I've just read one through three and I, and I like it. I'm waiting for the next one, but it takes a while to come out. After that, we have Haiku 1 through 14, current, up to date. Um, the next one comes out in a couple days. Or actually, I think it came out today, but mine's still in the mail. So I won't get 15 until tomorrow because it is technically a holiday. So yes, I'm up to date with these. I really, really love them. My only complaint is that the American release is very, very slow. Um, the anime is like three seasons in and the American versions have like only up to the middle of season two, which is annoying because I like to read the manga before I read the anime. So I'm just kind of stuck in the middle of season two until we get caught up. But anyway, I love it. Fantastic sports manga. Can't wait for more. After that, we have A Silent Voice 1 through 7. Very, very beautiful tale. If you have not uh, read this or watched the movie, definitely, definitely do. It's very short. It's very fun. and like pulls out your heartstrings. I adore it. Um, I'm thinking about reading it again. It's about this lovely tale of this person that was bullied. And they start to understand what it's like to be bullied so then they they have a change of heart and they they try to help the person that they originally bullied because this, they bullied this person because they were deaf which is really stupid but um it's a really change of heart story and it's very beautiful and then we have one through eight complete with prayer sight i just finished this i think last week it's pretty good i wasn't too happy with the ending I felt like it was really strong between like one and five and then it just kind of six through eight just kind of like okay um I don't know how I feel about it um yeah I, I liked the beginning didn't like the ending I don't know how everybody else feels about it it just felt I don't know if rush it just felt incomplete but yeah anyway let's move on 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 the last shelf sorry that's my floor again this is on the floor so it's a little hard to shoot I have Technically, one through nine of these, it's a Vinland Saga. My friend still has the um, one and two because she's borrowing them. Fantastic series, one of my favorite, I think, if not my favorite manga I have read so far. Um, it's, I'm not going to say beautiful because it's very gory and very, like, stabby in the back sometimes. But no, it's, uh, it's fantastic. I love it. I, I binged read it. I, I can't wait for the next one. Whenever that comes out, I don't know if we have any news on it. If you do know when it's coming out, please tell me. Please. I love it. I just, I read it all so fast. And when 9 came out, I read it in a day. It's just, I love it. And I binge read it. And now I'm out and I kind of want to reread it. But I got to wait for my friend to be done. So anyway, if you have not read this, read it. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. Yeah. All right. Next we have... One and two of Lisa Wet or Lisa Wet of the Witch's Forest or in the Witch's Forest. Um, it's another story by the creator of Fritz Basket. Um, I'm not feeling it so much. Um, I might collect it more just because I love this author, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm not getting a good vibe from it. Um, hopefully it builds and gets a little better in next volumes, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. There's currently five volumes out. I've only got two. So, I mean, it could just be the first couple volumes they're building. Well, we'll see how it gets. Next, we have Blue Exorcist 17. I have the rest of these on Kindle. I need to get the physical copies. I really like Blue Exorcist, but I did not like this volume because it focuses on Shura, and she's like my least favorite character. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm hoping the next volume is much better. We have volume 19 of Attack on Titan. This was a present. I haven't got all Attack on Titan, even though I plan to get them. That's just uh, where we're at with that. I just haven't got it yet. Next, we have Pandora Hearts. Eh, I don't know how I feel about this. I really love the artwork. The story is a bit like, what the fuck, though? So, I don't know. We'll see. I might give it another shot, but at this moment, I don't plan on getting any more. Next is I Am a Hero. I just picked these up. I'm really liking this. Um, it starts off kind of strange, but the first volume is like kind of building to the story. And I haven't read these yet, so we'll see how it goes. 
I'm hoping it's really, really good. It looks amazing. The artwork is fun. The character is uh, interesting. I didn't expect this kind of character, but it's really cool. I'm hoping it really builds. I just got all of these this month, so this is going to be in my manga haul. But yeah, really good. Really good title from what I've read. I need to finish it so I can't give a proper, like, if it's good or not review. And then lastly, we have my collection of the Orin High School Host Club 1 through 18, the collection box. I haven't read these. I really need to read these. I've had these for a couple months. But yeah, 1 through 18 complete. And yeah, I, I really like this anime, but I haven't read the manga. So yeah, Orin High School 1 through 18. Anyway guys, that is my manga collection. It is slowly growing. I only started a couple months ago with my collecting, so I think it's a pretty good start. Got my guitars on the other side. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, I know someone requested this a while back. It took me a while to make the video because this is actually my other bookshelf, as you can probably see Harry Potter back there. I don't have a proper bookshelf for my manga, but yeah, um, I just wanted to get this out here, see what you guys thought, see if you guys have any, any recommendations. But yeah, like I said, thank you for watching, have a wonderful day, and peace.